Oh, Cheyenne, she's awesome. Harmonica. Oh, could you not baptize my baby? Oh, I'm sorry. Force of habit. Glenn, if it's okay, I might just be like 10 minutes late tomorrow. Cheyenne, what? you are not coming to work tomorrow. I need the money. And they said I would mostly be done bleeding by then. But you should be with the baby, though. It's okay. My mom can watch her. And I'm going to leave her with some of my clothes so she can start to learn my smell. Cheyenne, this is unacceptable. You've distracted us from our work. You've left your insides all over the floor, and, and now you've brought your child to work. Glenn, what are you... No, no, I mean it. You're suspended for four weeks uh, oh. with pay. Mm-hmm. Oh, but I... Oh, oh but? You, you want to make it six weeks? Okay, fine. Bam. Six weeks paid suspension. You want to keep going, Missy? Mm-hmm. No, I'm good. Jonah. Ah, bup, bup, bup. You think I'm doing it wrong, but if we stack them five wide and low, they're less prone to toppling. What's wrong? They fired Glenn. What? Yeah, so, um, about that walkout. Mateo, yeah. Glenn got fired. We're walking out. Are you coming? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Sorry, I was doing a teal and green story. Garrett. All the employees are leaving early because they're staging a, a walkout. Uh, because Glenn got fired. Sure, man, that works. recognize you guys with the uh, masks. <laughs> Hi. Could you tell us what's going on with our order? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm sure it'll be out soon. Uh, Mateo's doing everything he can to make it perfect for you. Well, I told my online poker room BRB, so he's kind of making me look like a liar. Yeah, I... Look, um, Mateo just kind of wants to get off on the right foot with you guys, you know what I mean? Between us, he's not even supposed to be working curbside. He just saw this as an opportunity to, you know, Win your approval, you know, with, for his future with Eric. Our approval? Like, our blessing? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, whatever you want to call it, so... Our baby's getting married. Oh, oh, no, 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 that's it's not what okay. I... It's okay, we won't tell my tale you told us. Connie's really good at acting surprised. Oh, yeah. Cool. J just to be clear, though... Hey, guys. I... Oh. So sorry for the delay. I threw in a couple of extra kettle chips to make it up to you. Ay, Dios mio. <laughs> I'm so surprised. <laughs> Our son is lucky to have you. Wow, you really love kettle chips. <laughs> Mateo, by the way, if you want to talk to us, maybe we can go inside, somewhere a little more comfortable. Uh, sure, absolutely. Uh, right now, what about your, your poker game, Brian? Hey, some things are more important. Ah, uh, come on. Jonah. <laughs> Park the car. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy to help. So nice to be able to sit down in person. I bet you thought I was just shoulders with a head. <laughs> we did. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> hey, uh, Mateo, can I talk to you for a minute? Uh, there's a uh, there's a curbside emergency. Uh huh. Sure. Oh, look! I even got legs. <laughs> uh, so Ron and Connie are kind of expecting you to ask their blessing to. Mary, Eric. What? Why? 
Do kettle chips mean something in Honduran culture that I'm not aware of? I told them that you wanted to make a good impression, and they made some leaps. To marriage? Eric and I aren't even talking about that. Look, just say that you're not ready, you know? That's, that's reasonable. You, you can even say that it's my fault. It was your fault, but now they'd like me, and I'm not gonna screw that up. You have to come back with me. Oh, no, I, I can't. He's Jonah. Yeah. They're not gonna expect me to ask if you're there. Mateo, so I'm I can be the blameless angel, and you can just be the weirdo who likes to hang out with his ex's parents. I feel like there has to be a better way. Connie, Ron! <laughs> Jonah's gonna join us. He misses you guys. We found him this morning. Looks like he used to work here. We were opening up the drywall when Gary saw the arm. I was like, what? No way, Gary, that's not a dead body. Then Gary showed it to me. Turns out it was a dead body. Who are you, Beyonce? Selena. Who? Selena. She was Beyonce before Beyonce. I thought you were J-Lo. Hmm. No. So unfortunately, the body we found was one of our employees. Oh, oh. what? Salvatore Kozlaskis. Wait, you mean Creepy Sal? The man is dead. But yeah. Oh. 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 Well, the police said he's been dead for at least a year. Are you crying? Yeah, I just, poor guy. But you, you didn't know him. But he was a human being. Mm. Sal was a, a bit of a, how do I put it? When he looked at you, it felt like he was grabbing you. Apparently, he was doing some work behind the drywall outside the women's washroom, and then his foot got caught in a beam, and he starved to death. I'm sorry, what work was he doing exactly? We're not sure. He drilled a hole into the women's washroom, so maybe he was hanging a picture? Oh, oh, God. oh I love how they put him in a uniform. Like he's a dead employee? <laughs> it's so cool. No! This is not a Halloween display. That is a real dead body. <laughs> you crack me up. It must be so much fun working there. Okay, talk to you later. That was the coroner's office. A gas main blew in a shoe land. Oh, God! Which shoe land? Uh, who cares? They're all the same. The point is, they're not going to be here for a while. Oh, come on. Which really? shoe land? My husband works at a shoe land. I don't know, Jody. I didn't ask the man every little question in the world. Well, how long are they going to Which shoe land? Jody, I cannot with you right now. I didn't even hear Glenn's question. Glenn. How long are they going to be? I don't know. I don't know why you don't have a gurney. Yeah, I was going to get one, but they're like 100 bucks. Ah, budget cuts. Thank you, Governor Graytons. <laughs> so where am I supposed to put this thing? Well, where you normally put it. I guess I could put it on my lawn. I guess. Chuck, what are you doing? Did you get the hummus? Hummus? Put the body down, down you I just know what I'm telling you. I just know what I'm telling you. Okay, okay, back up. okay. Back up, you what? back up. She oh, both yeah, back up. Right. I hate Black Friday. Rick. You can do this. You can do this. Black Friday? What? I'm afraid of you. Perfect way they showed us. Showed me how to burn the block down before it slows up. Before the window of opportunity closes up. All right, everybody, get ready. Store is set to open in exactly one minute. 60, 59. You don't have to say all the numbers. 60, 61. Yeah, that's right. I'm going up now. OK, uh, one last thought before we open. That if you Yes, you can get pregnant from that angle. And you can get pregnant from any angle. What? No, I can't. I can't hear you. Ow. If I could just get everybody describing what Black Friday means to them, that would be cool. No. Hey, that's a new camera. Uh, attention, Cloud Nine shoppers. Apparently, Black Friday has begun. From all of us here at Cloud Nine, have a great purge. Man, really, no pizza? Yep, that's what we're saying. But. 
Can I offer you a free hot dog as an apology? Yeah, thank you. I really appreciate that. You do? Yeah, thanks so much. That's great, because we really are out of pizza. There's no dough, there's no sauce, no Italians in sight. Hey, don't forget to put that on your customer survey. Girl, it is your lucky day. I had to dig and dig through the back, but I found the last one for you. <sighs> oh, sorry, bathroom's closed. But you're going to love the employee bathroom. Come on, I'll show you. I got to dump one out, too. Oh, so I'm digging and digging, and then all of a sudden, the whole shelf falls. And I'm like, not today, shelf. And I dive out of the way. <laughs> anyway, I got you the very last one. Wow. Shoot, I actually need two. Oh, you know what? I think I saw another one back there. Say one too many things about tahini, and you're just thrown back here like you're nothing. This wouldn't be happening if the customers could see my whole face. You know, the, the, the top half raises questions, but the bottom half answers them all. Hey, don't get down on yourself. So we got put in the back. It doesn't mean we're worthless. No, I know, you're right. I, I just, it just mean... means we're back of house people. Strong, silent, shadow people. The rejects, the freaks. Well, I wouldn't say freaks specifically. He's a super freak, super freak. He's super freaky. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, no, I, I know the song. We can't let a bag of feet be her last impression of the store. I know. I, I'd go talk to her, but I only know who she is because of you. She'd know that you were helping us. Oh, I could slash her tires to keep her here longer. Uh, I don't know what car is hers, so I guess I could just do them all. Um, thanks, Shy, but maybe not yet. Okay. Hey, guys, we'd love to get an employee's thoughts on all of this. Would any of you be willing to do an interview? No, we're not going to do uh, that. Just take a minute. Actually, yeah, I, I will. Today, so a new chapter in one of St. Louis's darkest stories. A duffel bag filled with eight severed human feet has turned up inside the Ozark Highlands Cloud 9 store. One employee has agreed to tell us what he knows. Jonah, this is not the first time feet have been found here. In fact, the internet has already dubbed this store Tozark Highlands. Is that, is that so? I, I, that's the first I'm hearing of it. Why do you think he or she, well, let's be honest, he sees your store as an ideal dumping ground? Uh, uh, well, Natalie, he, he probably likes it for the same reason everybody else does, you know? Our, our fast and friendly service, our convenient parking, and our strong sense of community. I, see. I don't think he answered her question. So, yeah, it's a tough pivot. This is the first time multiple feet have been delivered at once. Do you believe this is some sort of gruesome final event? I don't know why you think I would have anything useful to say on that front. Um, but you know what's never final? Any purchase that you make here. Let me, let me tell you about our return policy. So you're not concerned this is hurting business? I might think twice about shopping at this store. OK, yeah, a lot of feet turn up here. I'm sorry we're not literally perfect, Natalie. Yikes. We just, we, we keep trying to show everybody that we're the perfect store. And, and the truth is, we're not, OK? We're, we're just us. But we're here every single day. When it rains, when it snows, when it, when it tornadoes, when there's a plague and you're all safe at home, except for when you come here to cough, we're here just, just trying to get you what you need. And, and all we want is to keep doing that. Emotions running high here, preventing people from staying on topic. Back to you, Skip. Obviously, we're not going to just let them take Mateo. So somebody come up with something. There are no bad ideas. What about if... OK, we... Sandra, could you just stop it with the wigs, please? Okay, guys, Thank you. Guys, I actually think I have something here. In the event of an ICE enforcement action, anyone who may be in violation of US immigration law should immediately present themselves to an officer for evaluation. This is from ICE.gov. Super helpful. Screw it. You can live with me. I've been living in a small utility room in the back of the store for several months. What? what? I, bathe at night in the employee bathroom, and I pee in jars. Ew. Why wouldn't you just pee in the bathroom? Because I've been peeing in jars. Whoa! Nice piece, dog. Boy, is it like a cougar magnum? It's a Glock. Oh, nice. Very nice. Can I try shooting that? My gun? No. Mm-mm. Oh, what's that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We didn't have any that said make America great again. The closest I could find was fart police. Uh, I'm just going to wear this one. How do I look? 
great. I'm gonna miss working with you. Sorry, relax. I'm gonna get out. Yeah, but even if you do make it out, you can't come back now that they know. No. Uh, yeah, I'm, of course, obviously, that, that, no, would be the case. And then at one pageant, we heard this girl gagging in the bathroom, and we're all like, guess we know how she stays so slim. Turns out an actual strangler had broken into the building and was straight up trying to murder her. <laughs> she managed to fight him off with a hot curling iron and an eyebrow pencil. <laughs> she came in second. So the guy we're looking for is named Mateo Fernando Aquino Liwanak. Liwanak? Yeah, it sounds Swedish. Or Latvian? Mateo could be Mexican. Hey, you know what? There is a guy here named Mark. Maybe you're looking for him. No, it's not Mark. It's Mateo, and it says that he has worked here for four years. Well, I'm sorry. I, I know everyone who has ever worked here, and I have never heard that name. <sighs> OK, thanks. So uh, who's this? What the hell? Um, that I uh, have never seen that picture before. Feels like I'm in a horror movie. Excuse me, these razors say two for one, but do they mean two razors or two packs of razors? Because there's, there's two per pack. Just, just take the, the one pack then. The one pack? But there's two in there. Let's see, this is the thing. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to witness the union of Cheyenne Taylor Lee and Bilbo Derrick Thompson in holy matrimony, to be joined as husband and wife for all eternity. No, I can't do this, OK? No. No, stop it. No, OK, I got to be free. You can't chain me down. Do you have to do this right now? Cheyenne, maybe it's for the best. No, what's up? This can't wait, OK? OK, I can't stand up in here and say all these words about loving you forever. But I can't rap them. Then we're going to need a sick ass beat. Spitfire, Minister Funkacon. Yeah, I'm going to be with you for life. For life. I'm the husband. She's the very one. charismatic. Hey. 
Ain't no way I'm getting hitched to my ride or die without my boys here repping me some. What's up? Pwing, pwing, pwing. Yeah. Auntie Beth? Oh, my. So good to see you. Are you getting younger or prettier? I can't tell. <laughs> Relax, Bridezilla. So, as your bridesmaid, I'm supposed to come hold your dress while you, you know, piss and and I'm clocking you in at three hours since your last pit stop. Um, I I'm good, thank you. Yeah, for me, now is kind of perfect because those many pizzas you served earlier are just not sitting. Okay, fine, I'll go. Let's do this. Uh, attention shoppers, please bring your final purchases up to check out because this store is about to close forever. And on behalf of everyone here at Cloud9, I'd just like to say bye bye <laughs> Sorry, that shouldn't be the last thing I say. 20 years of announcements. I mean, I'm not a sentimental guy. That's not my thing. But it did just occur to me that this is, this is the end. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a job. If jobs were fun, they wouldn't pay us to do it, but occasionally there were moments that weren't so bad. And for whatever reason, those are, the only things I can remember right now. You know, most jobs suck 99% of the time. So you really, really gotta enjoy those moments that don't. Those bits of fun you have during downtime. Or an interesting conversation with a coworker. Or something happens that you can laugh about later. It's a picture of my honeymoon, sorry about that. Or you do something that you're actually proud of. Looking great, guys, keep up the good work. If you're lucky, maybe you even get to be friends with a coworker or two along the way. Not sure what else you could want in a job. shopping with us. Cloud9 is now closed.